Vada. Yeah, he first came in and he had his books, right? He's like, I am the graduate of Harvard and my books are weighted with knowledge. Authority. Authority, authority right? Something. Kind of knowledge, right? But their books are weighted with authority, right? I come here, I'm going to find witches, right? He's very pompous. He believes in his in his scholarly, you know, witchcraft findings. But now what's happened to him? What's happened to him, Martin? Oh, uh, he's like more reserved now. He's more reserved. Way back. More laid back. He knows much more information. He knows more information because he knows more information what? Is he still woo witchcraft? No. No, he's what's he doubting doing? himself. He's, yeah. he's doubting himself. Not only is he doubting himself, he's doubting what? The court. The court, right? And everything going on there. So would he be dynamic or static? Do you guys remember these terms? Static. Static. Dynamic. 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 So remember static is what? No change. Well, they, they don't change, right? They're kind of still, right? They're just characters that sort of, they're just kind of like the facade, right? They're just there kind of as a prop, like a pop, right? So can we think of any characters that would be static in the play? Probably Abigail. You don't think she changes at all? Not yeah. that much. She doesn't still. grow. You think she's kind of static? You can make that argument. What about um, Martha Corey? Does she really grow or change? Mm -hmm. She's kind of as she is. When we think about Hale, he's the perfect example. He's the epitome of what? Dynamic. A dynamic, right, Emily, a dynamic character, exactly. So let's go back to Giles Corey. So we got a lot of Giles in here, right? So is he a proper lawyer? No, not exactly. Not exactly. Did you guys catch on 1323 the example um, where Danforth says, oh, did the proper lawyer? That's an example of what? Verbal mm -hmm. irony. Verbal irony, right? Because sarcasm in written text is called verbal irony, right? So he's not a proper lawyer, but does he know the law? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, why does he know the law? He's been appointed for many times. Yeah, that's right. I heard he's it from the court. Two. He's been to court 33 times. So what does it say about Giles Corey? He knows somewhat he's what he's talking about. He's experienced. He knows what he's talking about. But why has he been in court so many times? Is he a delinquent? He's probably you no, know, he got sues a lot of people. There. He sues a lot of people, right? So mm -hmm. you think modern times, you think of a person who's always suing someone, right? So he's a cantankerous old man who's always suing people for what? For land, for cattle, for this or that. So he's this grumpy old man. Let's also think about Giles. He condemns his wife, doesn't he? Yeah. Does he do it on purpose or is it inadvertent? Yeah, right, because remember he accidentally says, oh, she likes to read, oh, she distracts me from my prayers. Now has he learned his lesson? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because remember he had no filter, he said whatever he thought. But now when it comes down to revealing his witness, what does he do? He holds the name. He would hold the name because he knows what, what, what would happen. He's 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 right, they would condemn him. And he would be the one condemning him by giving the name. So we see, has Giles changed? Yes. Yeah, so is he static? No, yeah, he's dynamic. He's dynamic, exactly. All right, and then, you guys catch the illusion at the very first part of the scene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was illusion to what? Raphael. Raphael. Angel Gabriel. Tobias, right? Um, yeah, Doctor. The story of Raphael and Tobias is the Bible. Uh, Raphael was an archangel and Tobias And so Tobias is sort of told to go and help these people, right? And he ends up saving them, right? So why is this illusion in reference? Who is supposed to be like Tobias? The judges. Yeah. Did I hear it, Emily? Mary Warren, right? Because Proctor's doing what? He wants Mary Warren to do what, D? To confess. Help him out. To confess, right? To help him out. To go into the court and say... It's all pretense, right? And to save everyone who, who will be hanged shortly, right? So we guys notice that. And what's the purpose of this biblical illusion? Is Mary Warren very strong, very godly, very saintly? No, like she's very it? meek and easily swayed. She's meek and easily swayed. Is she being a really good Christian girl? No, no. she's just following the crowd. Very good. Now, 
Now we're going to get our three 